This photo tour project is by Jacob Peterson and Connor LeCoubier. Welcome to the incredible Verizon Center, located on One Civic Center Plaza, Mankato, Minnesota 56001. And the executive director of this building is Bert Lyman. If you'd like more info on this facility, you can go to mnverizoncenter.com. Now, to start off our tour, we need to look at the Civic Center parking ramp because it's a very important uh, place to get to the Verizon Center since they're connected. And a bunch of spectators park in this ramp, which is very critical for the Verizon Center staff to fill that parking lot. Next is the Skyway to the Verizon Center. Easy access helps with traffic from people coming in and out to the game. Gets you right to the Verizon Center. And I think it's one of the major strengths of this facility because of that reason. And I would also say that this is one idea I would take away and use if I was to build a facility from scratch. Next, after getting your getting through the Skyway, you're going to need tickets to get into the game. So if you don't have them, you're going to have to go to the will call window. And as you see in this picture, the sign for the will call isn't that big. And other signs like this are around the facility as well. And I think this is a very poor design point of this facility because with things like tickets being so important, they need to be, the signs need to be bigger and so that the spectators can easily see them and not walk right by them and be confused to where to go. So now you have your ticket, you've walked through the Skyway, and now you need to find your seat. Here's an example of a main entrance in the Verizon Center. I like the signs um, with the information on them, I just wish the letters were bigger. That's something I would change just so pe everyone can see exactly what section they need to go to or if they want to go to concessions, etc. Next, we have two examples of concession stands in the Verizon Center. One is Pizza Ranch and the other is Hickory Street. Pizza Ranch obviously is a great design point for this facility because there's one in the Mankato area, people are already familiar, and they're giving you pizza at a pretty good price of $3 a slice. Now, the Hickory Street looks to be a little small, and from personal experience, I've had to stay in line a little more, so if they could have more workers at that stand, they'd work. Now, we have the first aid area and the training room for the players that is behind the scenes for most people. But I was able to get an inside look because Connor is the goalie for the team and he was able to take pictures um, where people normally wouldn't see, which is pretty cool. Now we have a sweet shot of the players tunnel where they would walk to make it to the ice followed by a really cool emblem in front of the locker room and the locker room itself. It has some great carpet, a Gatorade machine for all the players, as well as state-of-the-art lockers, and everything just looks nice, clean, and represents MSU with the colors. Last, I would just say the one important thing I learned was that the Verizon Center has an executive director, and that was Bert Lyman, and he's very important. There also are executive box office directors and another director. So there are a lot of people that oversee this facility that I didn't know about, and that is one critical thing that I learned. This concludes the photo tour of the Verizon Center, and we hope you enjoyed it. Also, make sure that you watch your Mavericks and cheer them on to the Frozen Four. Go Mavs.